An ad campaign some consider controversial will soon be on Fort Worth city buses. Take a look. The ads will read, Millions of Americans Good Without God. Now, the bottom line message, God does not exist. One of the folks behind the campaign, Terry McDonald. Terry, you're with the Dallas-Fort Worth Coalition of Reason. Thanks for being with us. i got to start it off and let you know I don't like the campaign at all, and I posted it on my, my Facebook, and it got a lot of people upset. Is that what you're trying to do is make people mad? Because if it is, it's, it's working. No, we're not trying to make any mad anybody mad. We're uh, we're really trying to appeal to people uh, who are like us, who uh, who don't believe in God, who are uh, secular people, and, uh, and to let them know that there's a lot of us out here, out there, and we there's places that they can go, groups that they can join to uh, to be with people who have a lot uh, the same worldview as they do. So you get a lot of followers using campaigns like this? Yes, we do. I've had I've had some today. I've had emails today from people saying, I, I'm so glad w uh, that you did this uh, um, because we've been looking for groups like this. We didn't know they, they existed. All right, now we did ask some folks what they thought, and, and we heard from both sides. Let's, let's listen. There's people that uh, protest because there's religious things put up at the courthouses, you know, and they don't want that. And so I would be, just as some people are offended by that, that would be offensive to me. I understand everybody has freedom of speech, but that's public transportation, and I just think that's not the place to do that. The what, the First Amendment right? If they want to say that, they have the right to say that. You know, I hate to say it, but that, that's what also makes this country great. Hey, Terry, why did you pick right now the Christmas season to roll out the campaign? We didn't really select the, uh, the Christmas season. Uh, really? Because this is when everybody's <laughs> talking about I mean, I have to think there's something behind right now. Well, well, uh, as you say, this, this, the campaign is upsetting you. Which month would you prefer that we use except for December? Well, it's not that I would prefer a month, but, but truly, right now, when everybody's talking about Christ and the re Jesus, the reason of the season, that sort of thing, it would seem like you, you think that this is top of mind for folks, so hey, let's do this right now. Well, we, di we didn't target December. Uh, we've okay. been working on this for quite some time. The thing just came to, to be uh, right now. Uh, we knew we'd have some problems because some people don't, don't like it uh, sure. in December, and um, we considered not doing it, and we thought, well, we're ready to do it, and... Uh, you know, nobody owns December, and so. Well, sure. And and on the other hand, there there are a lot of people, as I say, that we're appealing to that uh, are exposed to so many religious messages uh, during this time of right. year, uh, and uh, to let them know that they're they're not alone. Some place uh, for them to go. Now, you did try to get the ads on Dart buses in the Dallas area. Dart said no. They they have a policy that does not allow religious ads. But we do have a statement from the folks at the T. I, I want to read this statement to you. It reads: The T strives to be fair to all parties in accepting advertising for its bus system and to not discriminate against faiths or beliefs. So Terry, you're going to go after DART? You're going to try to let DART put your messages on, on Dallas buses? Uh, no, not really. Uh, they changed their, uh, their uh, uh, policy last year to eliminate all religious ads, and so we really consider this a, a, a victory for secularism not to have those religious ads on the bus, and we're perfectly not happy not to have them on there. So did you try then to get your ads on the buses prior to them changing that? Yes. You did. And, and the plan was to possibly do it, and then you just didn't, and you went for Fort Worth? Or how did that play out? Uh, well, that's, it's been a while since we've yeah. done this. We started it uh, actually in 08, and when okay. we went to them in, in uh, uh, 2008, uh, they, they said, well, yeah, they would take the ads. And then, okay. uh, and then when, by the time we kind of put the thing together, they said, no, we've changed they our changed policy. It. Hey, just curious, Terry, if somebody says Merry Christmas, what's your response? <laughs> Happy New Year. <laughs> All right. Well, then, Happy New Year and Merry Christmas from me to you, Terry. <laughs> well, a Happy New Year to you. Thanks. Terry McDonald, thanks for being here with us tonight.